Hi, this is Stephanie Kwame from the Cat Academy, and it is my pleasure today to be able to announce the winners of the National Lead Dream Home Contest for 2018. Everyone is a winner that participated in these contests, in my estimation. It was a daunting task. The stu students had to learn about leadership and energy and environmental design, what that means. They had to come up with their own dream home design, and then they learned a commercial grade building information uh, software to produce their project. So it was a huge task. I want to thank all of the instructors and the programs also that participated. And like a great choir director produces a great choir, a great instructor produces great students, and our instructors obviously know about architecture, how to teach, and the software. They did a wonderful job. And so congratulations to everyone. And every student who participated will receive a certificate of achievement. And of course, the winning students, they receive a laptop computer. I want to send out a special thanks for Graphisoft for their support of our program. They're the makers of ArcCAD, the awesome software we use. And also to Sarah. I'm not going to pronounce her last name because I don't want to make it, mis not do it right. So if I mispronounce I, anybody's name today, I am so sorry. Uh, but she's the Educational Program Coordinator for Graphisoft, and she actually helped judge the contest as well. So thanks so much for your support. Our third place winner decided to do his home in the northern part of Seattle, Washington. There's a lot of rain up there, so he has rain water collectors to store uh, the water. He uses a tankless water heater, however, so that he can save on energy. He used recycled material for the roof and also reused wood for the frames and the flooring. He has double pane windows. He's got a gray water system for the gardens and the plant life and he uses the rainwater that he collects for flushing toilets, washing clothes, cars, etc. He has high efficiency appliances. He has LED lighting and high efficiency air and cooling systems. And basically, this is a, a terrific floor plan and a beautiful design. And I liked this quote. I was able to understand how certain systems help with lowering costs in many aspects of the home and how they could also help providing the environment around the house with cleaner air and reduction of fossil fuels used. And so our third place winner is Seth Schwantz, Hamilton High School, and his awesome instructor is James Flannery. Congratulations! Our second place winner decided to place his home in Sugarloaf, Idaho, where it's pretty flat, and he wanted to take advantage of the wind and put in some wind turbines for uh, collecting energy. He also used Tesla solar windows for to create a little electricity as well. He put in a trash compost for uh, fertilizing uh, the plants around his house and Energy Star appliances. But this is amazing. I learn something new from students every year, and I wish I had this. Uh, it's the Weather Track Water Resource Management System, and it goes up to a satellite and uh, it stays in touch with the local weather conditions and turns on sprinklers only as needed. That is a wonderful thing. I, th I think he, you wouldn't have a $500, water, $500 water bill from that. The student said, I have learned that there are lots of ways to be efficient, but it surprises me that people still don't accept these features to help Earth's environment. These are interior shots. I just love pulling up. I pulled up every project and looked at them, and they are all so amazing to me. Our second place winner is Austin Donadell, American Fork High School, and his most awesome instructor, Ed Sanderson. Congratulations. Our first place winner did his document and separated it by the lead light categories, and I think that helped quite a bit. He oriented his house in California so he could take advantage of the solar 
or the sun potential. So he put in a, a lot of solar panels and windows, and he uses the windows so they can catch the sun right na naturally and heat the house. Uh, the house has a community aspect built into it because it's placed on a beachfront. And he used only native plants like palm trees and bushes. He has uh, gray water collectors and he uses those to water the plants around the house. He has low water fixtures and faucets and shower heads. He uses R23 for exterior walls for insulation and also uses a tankless water heater, smart electric tankless water heater. And everything this house was built from came from a local lumber store so that there was no waste. I always like to say that the first thing that happens when they build around here is they bring in the big dumpster for the, the waste because there seems to be a lot of waste. This a house has a uh, wonderful floor plan. This is his write-up, so it's this and more. And I liked how he said, the air is balanced by equal number of windows, both upstairs and downstairs, and the windows are set up for drafts, and there are fans in the house to push old air out and bring new air in. So our winner for this year is Joey Joel Warwick. Hamilton High School, James Flannery, instructor. Congratulations to all of our schools, programs, and students. You did an awesome job. We'll be getting out your prizes to you uh, as soon as we can. And um, thanks for your participation.